Here we have a 3.2 Sport Coupe in a very rare colour combination of Lagoon with Mahogany. Works super well together and it's an immaculate car. It's a really, really special 86 G50. Next is this Turbo LE. Really rare car, 53 build. Special order, special wishes car. This one's done 24,000 miles and it's got a lot of really special features that I've not seen too often before. Perfect for a collector in my opinion. Very, very nice car with a great history. Another rarity, a 964C2 Cabrio manual done 30,000 original miles. Inside is dark blue. It's as nice as I've seen in the last 15 years. Very, very unusual, I think, to see one like this. And um, not the cheapest, but super good. Here we got a 993 C2 Cabrio manual. It's a 94 car. It's done 91,000 miles. All lovely, clean, proper piece of kit. Um, it's a shame to call it a driver quality because it's actually a really nice car that you'd be proud to put in your garage or uh, enjoy a nice days. Dark blue with grey. Followed by a one of one. It's a British Racing Green Special Order C2 Tip Coupe from 96. Vario Ram. The car's done 36,000 miles. Right hand drive. Ought to say none better. The original British Racing Green, and we've never seen another air cool from the factory in this colour. No record of them online either. So, a collector car, and it's par excellence. Really, really nice. As good as it looks. Non sunroof, aircon, all its history. Just absolutely gorgeous. This is a left-hand drive 993C2S of the wide body car, Tiptronic. Um, really nice clean car that we sold probably 10 years ago. Very unusual in God's Red. Um, the only one that I've handled in this color, God's Red with black leather, beautiful history, really properly looked after. Um, previously been registered in France and then it's come back to the UK. So super nice unusual Porsche. This is one of the very last of the anniversary cars. 964 anniversary is chassis 500. The last one was 505. Completely original, standard, authentic car. All its history. Originally a German delivered left-hand drive in Viola with Rubicon. It's a very, very nice example and uh, would grace a collection and uh, my opinion should be kept looked after and uh, enjoyed a little bit it's done 162,000 kilometers with a top end build and all lip down stuff really good car beautiful car here's a superb looking 356a it's a 59 it was restored about 11 years ago by our own Graham Kidd, a very high quality restoration. That owner's covered 25,000 miles around Europe with it. It benefits from some very, very nice upgrades, including dual line disc brakes, a little bit quicker motor, um, and 12 volt electrics, amongst other things. Here I've got a left hand drive 911 SC from 1981. It's a really very fine car. We've looked after it a long time. It benefits from working air conditioning. Everything sorted with this car. It's in a really nice colour combination and uh, is just ready to use. Uh, cars going all over Europe. Very nice example. Now this is a bit special. It's one to put away, I think. It's a 996 GT2 Club Sport right-hand drive, one of 16. The car's done minimal mileage, done 19,000 miles. Beautiful car. You open the door, it smells like new. It's £165,000. I cannot see these will ever be 165 again when you need double that to buy a 993 RS and more again to buy 997 GT3 4-litre. And these are the last of the wickedly good Porsche. So um, beautiful example. Here's a 1964, in fact, December 1964, 356C. It's left-hand drive, 
believe it's a matching numbers car, original colour. It must have been a good car right from the beginning um, because it's got a lot of original metal in it and very few repairs. Lovely driving car, just the sort of thing to enjoy without too much guilt. The cost, it, it, this one's up for 81995 and is well worth what. We get all sorts of interesting stuff here and this is just one for a bit of fun. It's just arrived. It's a left-hand drive Sierra Sapphire Cosworth two-wheel drive and it was an Italian car never mucked about with whatsoever. Uber rare done 100,000 kilometres will be up for sale really soon and um, sort of looking forward to giving it a whip up the road.